Hi, I am just waiting in line for my click and collect order from Tesco's. I ordinarily would get it delivered, but I couldn't get a slot and I didn't fancy doing another shop in person. I've been doing that for the last few weeks, um, but I managed to get a click and collect. So thank God I don't have to traipse around the shops, even though it's quite nice to get out on my own. Uh, but this is equally nice. I've got the car to myself and I'm all on my own. It's just nice just to be out of the house. If you're new to this channel, then hello, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. And I use this channel as a way to share any organisational hacks and tips that I have. I do a lot of decluttering. I share meal plans and grocery hauls and anything that helps you to take back control of your life. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it home, unload it onto the worktop and then run through it and I'm going to do it in sections like meat and then veg and then all the things so you can see exactly sort of a bit more of a process rather than the jumbled way I've been doing it before and then at the end I will go through my meal plan for the week so hopefully it'll give you some ideas for your own meal plans. Okay, so I have laid it all out and I'm going to go through section by section everything that we've brought. I've had to improvise to make some more space here. And look, look at all the bags, look at all the bags that they give. Oh, it makes me sad. So starting off with the fruit and vegetables and fridge stuff, um, we have got three cheeses three because last time I got two and it just wasn't enough. We have so many cheesy toasties and cheese on our spaghetti and stuff that actually I think three should just do us now. Potatoes, onions, a selection of grapes which will probably be gone in the next 10 minutes, some strawberries that they advised me that the shelf life is really short on those and I was like don't worry the children will eat them in in the first 10 minutes being home. Lettuce, some Vitalite, we're dairy free, so I like uh, Vitalite, it's the best one that I have found, that it works well with baking and everything as well. And then I've got three hummuses, and I'm going to be making a pie this week, which you will see when I show you my meal plan, but I got a puff pastry, they didn't have a Tesco's own one of that one, and then I got a short crust pastry with the Tesco's own. And that is it for our fridge selection. Our breakfast and cereals, I still couldn't get any Frosties. I have ordered some online instead um, through a Groupon thing, so keep an eye out for that. But instead, I have got Belvitas. I really, really enjoy these. They're the crunchy choc chip ones, and they really do fill you up. So I just have one of them every morning. Then the children specifically requested these. They said they wanted to try a selection of different cereals. So, and there are some Frosties in that, so I might steal those. Um, but yeah, they really like these multi-grain shapes. So it's a good way to see if your children like the different different ones. Then you can go ahead and buy the bigger versions. William really likes porridge, so I managed to get an 18 sachet pack of those. And then, it's not cereal, but it goes in our cereal cupboard, is some breadsticks. The bread got squashed in the car, so we've got two very squashed loaves, and we've got one in the freezer already, so that will last us the week. I got some more muffins. If you watched my last grocery haul you'll have seen that uh we make pizza muffins using english muffins and i've got two left over from the other day so that six of those should last us as a family then some tortilla wraps big ones for us and then i buy the smaller ones for william so if we have a tuna wrap or just anything in a wrap he has the smaller ones he just cannot cope with a, a full size one and then when we're having bread he has white rolls i don't like their bread otherwise i'd buy the sliced bread for him but i haven't found a brand of free from bread that is nice but their rolls are nice um so i get him rolls and then we are also going to be having an indian this week we're not braving takeaway yet can't can't risk other people making my food right now so um i bought some plain naan breads and some popdoms Next is the food cupboard section. So we needed some more ketchup 
and some mayonnaise and um, the Tesco's versions were out so I had to get full price ones which you know is unfortunate. Needed some oxo cubes, I always put these in my sauces if I'm making a spaghetti bolognese or meatball sauce or a lasagna always use oxo cubes. Two tins of sweet corn, that's for if we're having tuna wraps or I don't know anything, I mean who doesn't love sweet corn? I haven't been able to get sweet corn for a while um, when I've been in person, it's always sold out so this is a treat. For our Indian we've got some mango chutney and then the sauce that we have is the Rogan Josh cooking sauce it's the least spicy but most tomato one that we can find but Lily still won't eat that so I'll have to make her something else and then tuna pasta bake really like these sachets just throw them in with the tuna and it just adds a little bit of flavor golden syrup we love pancakes so we're running low on golden syrup so that's for our pancakes lasagna sheets I'm going to be making a lasagna this week so needed some lasagna sheets and for a couple of things I needed some rice so I got another packet of rice and then for a lot of the recipes I needed passata and we really like this tomato passata with garlic herbs so um, I got four of those for the various meals we're going to have. Then there's some eggs that just have their own little basket they go in. They don't really particularly go in a cupboard. Then we've got the meat. So we've got two packs of sausages, which will be for some for dinners, some for dinners, some for lunches, and some mints. That'll be for our lasagna there. And actually, I've just realised I should have got two minces. I failed myself. I failed myself. I'd have to do a midweek thing. Or I might be able to halve that. I don't know. And then some meatballs. Frozen section. Quarter pounders. We really do like these. So there's two boxes of those. Just really like the crispy coating on top. Some ice creams. Even though the weather has taken a turn for the cold, we do love ice creams. Um, so we've got two different types of magnums there. Some fish fingers for fish finger sandwiches. And then I've got two bags of chicken breasts um for two different meals there random i say it should really be part of the food cupboard but because i put it in a different cupboard i class it differently so we've got some oat milk three of those um and we use that with everything for cereals or putting in mashed potato and then we've decided we're going to try and make some desserts like apple crumbles and things this week so i got three lots of custard that we won't have them all this week but i just thought well might as well just get them and have them in the cupboard this actually should be part of another section so i'll do that next um this is what i use to do a deep condition on my hair as part of the curly girl method um and if you've seen my hair recently it's gone really curly so this is i haven't tried this one normally i use their coconut and almond one um but this came recommended so I was like okay give that a try needed some more foil nothing exciting to say about that we are down to our last pack of baby wipes so I was like I'm not going to buy loads I'm just going to buy one and this will be our little just for emergencies types because we just don't really need them anymore when we're not in nappies dishwasher tablets again nothing very exciting but I did want I've tried cheaper versions i've tried different versions of the finished ones these are the only ones that help actually make things clean i feel like all the others don't work as well so quantum and then i'm very excited about these method hand wash and this is the botanical garden so that's going to go in the bathroom we ran out upstairs and then Oh no, actually no, that one's for the kitchen. That one's for the kitchen. And then this one is for the bathroom. It is, where are we? Soothing Rainstorm, which just sounds amazing. And it's just a really pretty bottle. So that is for the bathroom. And then I also, I needed some new bathroom cleaner and I don't like the smell of the bathroom the specific bathroom cleaners by method. So I thought, well, a multi-surface will do. And I got the matching soothing rainstorm for that as well so they're my sort of cleaning products random products from the shop next is the snack section so we've got some mccoys again beef hula hoops two of those we do love beef hula hoops and a 12 pack of plain hula hoops and then these are great these are actually um 
they're not part of the free from range they're just they are happen to be gluten free but they are also dairy free as well so William can have them and then the girls have them as well and yeah they're not as expensive as free from stuff because they just are in the normal range Kit Kats we still have quite a few left over from last week for some reason so I just got one of those and then some angel slices they do love angel slices some jam tarts and again these are dairy and soya free so William can have those and then some sweets for them to their snack table and when the girls are having Kit Kats William really does enjoy these and then last but not least we've got squash I had to do a mini shop in the week so I already have uh, an orange we actually get orange and mango I much prefer the mango just softens it a little bit um, but we needed some black currant so I got two of those so that's all the food now I'm going to show you our meal plan so you can see how that works throughout the week so our meal plan, I've shown it to you before, but it has a magnet on the back and it stays on our fridge. So we always know what we're going to be eating that day. Um, and we're running Monday to Monday now because today is Monday. I couldn't get a slot or a pickup earlier. So today is Monday and we're going to be having sausage surprise which is basically sausages and mashed potato, but with a tomatoey with onion sauce, like a tomatoey gravy. Um, and it's sausage surprise. I don't even know why we call it that. Um, tomorrow will be the chicken burgers with homemade chips in our Acti Fry. Wednesday is going to be the Rogan Josh with all the trimmings, with the poppadoms and the naan breads and everything like that. Chicken nugget wraps which may or may not do chips with that. It depends how we're feeling. Sometimes we just re get really full and we don't eat the chips. Lasagna and then Lily, for whatever reason, we can't understand why doesn't like lasagna. So I just make it separately with mince and pasta for her. And then I'm going to make a pie on Saturday, pie and mash. And then chili con carne, which is why I realised I needed two minces. Cause I need a mince for the lasagna, but I need a mince for chili con carne as well. So there may be one still in the freezer, I can't remember, maybe that's why. And then on the following Monday, I thought I'll get ahead of myself so that if I can't get delivery, then at least we've got meal for that day. We're gonna do me meatballs and mash, a la Ikea. Normally we do meatballs and spaghetti, but I thought, no, I'm going to do meatballs and mash with some gravy. And then lunches, same old, same old, really. Tuna sandwiches, cheese toasty, fish finger sandwiches, the muffin pizzas, sausage sandwiches, cheese toasties again, tuna wraps instead of tuna sandwiches, and tuna pasta. So that would, instead of with the sachet, that's uh, with mayo and sweet corn and things. And that's it, that's us done for the week. So that's our shop. I hope that that's been useful for you, giving you some ideas of some things. For a family of five, this will keep us going for a whole week. It came to 156 or something like that, which is more than we normally spend, but I did have the dishwasher tablets, so they were quite expensive because it was a big pack, and the method stuff, and my hair conditioner stuff, so it, it just bogged it up a little bit like that. But otherwise, pretty bog standard, shop for us um nothing out of the ordinary whether it will actually last us the week i don't know sometimes it does and then sometimes randomly we run out of food and i never really understand why because i've planned it out but it's the way it goes if you've enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed then hit that subscribe button hit the bell to be notified and i will be back next sunday at seven o'clock with another upload bye